Can I talk to you? Tommy and Sarah can take you around the house if you need any assistance. They're probably downstairs at the piano. All right, let's go downstairs to the piano, then, I suppose. This song has more than two notes. Hey, kids. What you want? Keep playing. Then quit bothering. Wait, let me ask you. What you want? Hey, your mom told me to show you to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. May maybe? I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah! Alright, let's talk. What do you punks want? We want one trillion dollars! Or a candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that! Alright, what? There's a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach! It's in the kitchen! Mom put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour through the house! What do you say? Well, sure, I'll go get it for you. You're lucky you don't want to walk up the stairs again, or I'd just tell your mother. The kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Go now. Well, that was a little rude. It's almost like some kind of terrible quest to get my night started. Okay. Okay. The kitchen is right next to the stairs. Well, there's a lot of stairs. Is this the kitchen? Is this the kitchen? Well, let me look around first before I, I, I do some fetch quests for the kids, right? It's a bathroom. Can I wash my hands? No. Okay. It's a bathroom. Um, the kitchen door is by the other stairway. Oh, all right. Go downstairs anyway? No, all right. They really want me to go to the kitchen. Um, it's another clock. Oh, it's a clock. Not another clock. It's a clock clock. And it is just, just, no minute hand. It's just like 10.30 or 11. No minutes. All right, right, let's. this is the kitchen, I assume. There's that candy cane. <laughs> what, what? All right, can I push this thing? Yeah. I better get that stupid candy cane for him while I'm here. Alright, let's get it. Come on, get the... Okay, there we go. Receive candy cane! Booyah! It's like taking candy from an inanimate baby! Can I... Okay, I can't move that now. What's uh, What else is in the kitchen? Got a stove and a garbage and some utensils. Was that a hit area? No? Okay. Nothing else to click in here. There's a light. The light is nice and soft, orange light. It's pretty. I like it. It's a really pretty light. Um. All right, that's it then. Turn the light off. Turn the light off. Okay. Um. I guess I'll just give it to the kids. Come on, give it to the kids. Give it to the kids. All right, kiddos, I was against a lot of odds back there, but I got the candy cane. It's probably a decade old and tastes like rubber, but you can use it like a walking stick. All right, where do we start? I know. There's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. Uh, what, what kind of funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys, though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. Okay, well. Oh, I've had a little party now. Are they in here? Tommy doesn't like turtles. I don't like turtles. They're kind of scary and very slow. Sarah, aspiring professional ice cream taster, aiming for the top. Yippee! Those are my character voices. And Dr. Neil Watts, technician special at Sigmund Corp. He's a little bit of a cool, sarcastic little bit of a jerk. Yeah, I'm a funny guy. I don't like turtles. Alright. Uh, in the study? That's a bathroom. I've already been there before. Don't need to go there again. I assume this is the study, because it's the only other room. There is. There they go. This is the book room! The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. 
I guess that's there? There's a lot of lights in this game. Interesting, they both turn on and off. I love the glow, the like orange glow. It's beautiful. Just a bunch of books in here. Nothing I don't know about though. About turtles, Tommy. Are there books about turtles? Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. Until one day I threw it back and he needed a band aid. <laughs> Alright. Is this a light I can turn on? No. Noticing the icons kind of are like laggy. Like it sticks with me all the way down here. It's okay. Uh, painting. Interesting. Whoa. Ah, I almost stepped in the paint. Interesting. I didn't tell you to do that. The Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen. Read passage. The colors, the colors of the beautiful fabric. I've never seen anything like it in my life. They all tried to conceal the disappointment in not being able to see the clothes. A child, however, who had no important role and could only see things as his eyes showed them, went up to the carriage. But he hasn't got anything on, the child said. Don't talk nonsense, his father reprimanded. But the boy's remark, which had been heard by the bystanders, was repeated over and over. Awesome. That's a great passage to choose. The only book in the... Yeah, that was fantastic. Alright. Dusklight, the tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Read passage. Uh, maybe next time. Received room key. The man sure knows where to hide things. The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami, Volume 1, The Guide to Key to Avoiding Paper Cuts. Gotta read that. The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami has already supplanted the great Wikipedia origami -a. It's a standard repository of all knowledge and wisdom about paper folding. For though it has many omissions and contains much that is... Uh, uh, crap. Apoc... Apoc... Apocryphal. 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 Apro... Apocryphal. Whatever. I know that word. Or at least wildly inaccurate. It scores over the older, more pedestrian work in two important respects. First, it is made of paper. And secondly, it provides numerous band-aids to make up for the inevitable paper cuts reading resulting from the reading of this book. That's actually hilarious. Read more. For the Grand Origami Master, it is absolutely essential for each origami to be completed in exactly 42 moves. In most origami tournaments, scissor cuts are considered cheating, but uppercuts are deemed legal. <laughs> that was awesome. He's not going to let me read the zombie thing, though. All right. All right, kids. I got the key. I wonder if Johnny's actually read all these books. Me and Sarah used to have book fights... So one of us needed a band-aid. Ma told us to stop, but we do it anyway. <laughs> Alright, I wonder if he's read all the books. Yeah, okay, I've got the key. Um, Basement? We can open the funny room in the basement now. There we go, to the basement. <clears throat> oh, they're excited. This is the basement. We play hide-and-seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. Turn the light. Okay. All right, more books. Dusty pile of Animorphs books. Interesting. I love the Animorphs. There's another door. We've got a little chest. It's locked. Of course it is. Um. Let's see. Another light. We got a cupboard. Some boxes filled with colored papers. Maybe origami papers. For the origami master. All right, let's see what the kids have to say. Once we were down here and the lights were out, Tommy fell down those stairs. He chipped a tooth, but that's okay because he's ugly to begin with. Oh, kids. Oh, crap. Go back down the stairs. I love how they run and take their place. We used to find all kinds of cool junk here multi bucks, multi buckets, multi cheese, you name it. So I guess this is the door. The door's locked. Opened with room key. Let's do it. It's like a cave in here. Let's turn on the little... What the hell? A broken music box. Stuffed toy platypus. What a hideous little creature. Poke it. Oh, it laid down. Sit it up. Oh, <laughs> poke it. Plop. 
Oh, that's just, wait, I don't even want to take it. I just want to do that over and over again. It just flops. That's so cute. Receive toy platypus. All right. Man, these bunnies are something. Can I rabbit fold it out of paper? Really? Really? It's just a room full of origami rabbits. And a broken music box and a stuffed toy platypus. Weird. Did you see it? What do you kids know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. <laughs> there are more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Why don't I go see? I got the keys. Let me guess, you aren't supposed to go in there either. <laughs> Remind me to never keep any locked cabinets around you two. So you want to go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather windy outside, but... Decision. Of course we want to go see the lighthouse. I'm not going to say no and stand around and wait. Oh, to heck with it. I'm Dr. Watts. Mere wind can't stop me. Come on, let's go kick some butts. Let's go kick some butts. Yeah. Butt kicking. Butt kicking. Uh, what was in this room, though? I forget. I forget what was in this room. That was the kitchen, right? Okay, let's go kick some butts and see the lighthouse. I am into the sound of that. There's a bird. Hello, bird. All right, well, this is the direct... The lighthouse is over here, because I saw it before. There it is! We need to head south to the street, take the other path to get down to it, though. Oh, I forgot my parachute. Oh, Tommy. I forgot his parachute. Doesn't like... I don't like turtles. They're not any fun. They're so slow. When you try to play with them, they just walk around. And you flip, flip them over, they get stuck flopping back and forth. It's just not a good time. I just really... Really can't get into turtles, you know? Anyway, let's go back down. Down to the street and take the other path. This is where the bouncy boulder was. Let's not forget about that. That's probably the stick I was supposed to leverage the bouncy boulder with. Here it is, though. It's here! Uh. My novelty beach ball! I thought I lost it! Oh. It's stupid anyway. Oh. I'll never lose it again. I'm gonna hide it. Don't look. Uh, we don't have time for this. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Okay, done. Right. Now, let's just head to the lighthouse. Where did he hide it? Oh, I want to go find it. Wait, wait. I got to look around. Is it in a log? Where did he, where did he hide it? Where did he hide it? I want it. Oh, there it is. I see it. Aren't there more important things right now? Yep. <laughs> I just... <laughs> oh, that was so funny. I love that. Just let me go look, because the game knows I'm going to try to go look for the beach ball. Right? Obviously, I'm going to go look for the beach ball. It's smoking. Who's a dummy to crash the car? That was, uh, Dr. Rosaline. Yeah. Oh, Dr. Rosaline. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Sorry, right, let's go this way. I wonder if it would have let me go this way before. Oh, it's a sleeping chipmunk? Or is that a platypus? Oh. Oh, a squirrel! Um. Ah! Whoa, combat? What the heck? Don't worry, kids, I got this. <laughs> they just. Oh my god. I was not expecting combat. Attack? Tsunami kick, tornado punch, shoe, other shoe. Let's go with the shoe. Yelling. <laughs> Yelling volume louder. This ends here! Hi -ya! Stop it! Or it's on mine, you animal abuse! Yeah, she called the cops on you! Oh, come on, I wasn't actually gonna. Don't you like role-playing? <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was 
is so fantastic. You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's name it Teddy. Okay. Let's just go. My whole night is ruined. Oh my god. This is the most motley crew of ridiculous people. I love it. I love it. It's incredible. <laughs> These kids are something else, too. That was just so funny, though. The, like, RPG combat. I'm just like, you're fighting a squirrel. What the hell are you doing? That was great. I love that. Oh. Well, that's beautiful. It doesn't have to keep reminding me that I have control. I know that I have control. Alright, what's this? In memory of Rival River E. Wiles. River Wiles, huh? Was she John's wife? Don't know. Come on, Lighthouse is right there! I think the song on the piano also had something to do with River Wiles. I'm pretty sure. I forget exactly. I'm gonna have to check when we go back. Let's go in! It's just open. Whatever. Um. Up the stairs, up the stairs. Sheesh, don't they have elevators? Um. This is it! It's just. rabbits. Seems like this thing hasn't been functioning for quite a while now. Hmm. So many rabbits, though. Multicolored paper rabbit. Hey! This wasn't here when we came last week! Oh yeah, Johnny must have came here before he fell ill again. Two colors, huh? Am I the only one who's a little creeped out by these, though? Yeah, you are. Yep. Well, the... Someone's calling me. Ah, I should have guessed. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, let's head back. As for this... Received paper rabbit. What the cactus were you doing? Burning ants with a magnifying glass. Using moonlight? Okay! I was, I was taking a nap then. God, it's so hard to be a smartass nowadays. You're pretty good at being half of it. Nice bird. Your helmet's on the couch. Get on it. We're going in. We're going in? Whoa. Whoa, he's wearing a smiling fish. Is that right? There's an eye, two eyes, a smile, and then like catfish whiskers? Is that not what that looks like? What does his vitals look like? His heartbeat. Normal. Um, okay. Well, this is exciting. Initiate. Not yet. Not yet. Wait, I want to... Can I go back downstairs? I still want to look at the name of the song on the piano before I forget. You going to take another nap, Neil? Okay, no. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in. Initiate. <laughs> Mine's a brown fish. His is a green fish. Ready or not? Ready or not? Interesting. That was that was a bug. They got switched. That was Doctor Watts. Little bug. Whoa! Our lights turned on. His fish smiled with a red lip. And here we go.